As one of only two Scottish-born players on the PGA Tour, it's no surprise Martin Laird is proud of his home country. You know, I have huge pride being from Scotland. I absolutely love Glasgow. I still love coming back. It's a really vibrant city. There's lots going on. It's kind of gone from being the old shipbuilding industrial city to kind of now a more artsy, funky city. And I love coming back. Golf, it was kind of the thing my dad and I used to do. I'm left-handed, I do everything left-handed. You know, the only thing I do right-handed is play golf. My first ever club was left-handed, but when it came time to get some more clubs and I was getting big enough to have a few more clubs, my dad couldn't find any left-handed. So I just found some old right-handed ones. That's something I always joke with my dad about, you know, I always say, you know, just don't know how good I could have been if I stayed left-handed. After a successful time in the junior ranks, Laird made his way to the States, attending Colorado State University on a golf scholarship. You know, coming from Scotland, I didn't want to go anywhere too warm. I didn't really want to go anywhere I'd be out of my element. I'd never, ever been to the U.S. before. Colorado State and Fort Collins, Colorado sounded like a nice fit. Laird would go on to win four times in college, including the individual championship in the Mountain West Conference Finals as a sophomore. It was also in college where Laird would meet his future wife, Megan. Megan and I met through a teammate of mine, was friends with her brother. That's great. She started traveling a couple of years ago full time, and it makes a huge difference. It's great when I come off and she's there, it takes my mind off it. It's been a huge support, obviously, the last couple of years, and that's one of the main reasons why I've you know, got better and played so well. He's a wonderful person. He's very genuine, he's very honest, very caring. His family means a lot to him, which is really, really wonderful. He's funny. He makes me laugh. <laughs> in addition to being a newlywed, the 29-year-old offers us some insight into his life inside the ropes. My golfing hero when I was growing up was Greg Norman. I used to love watching him, his style of golf, playing aggressively and kind of going for everything. And that's kind of probably one of the reasons why it's the way I play. I kind of put my foot down and, and play as aggressively as I can and see what happens. The best golf I've ever gotten is probably be patient. As anyone that's played this game knows, it's as frustrating a game as you, you'll find. That's something I'm still working on. That's one of my weaker points. I have no idea what I would be. I did one internship in an office for a summer and that definitely made my mind up that I couldn't do that for the rest of my life, so it would have to be something outside in the sports. What was the Honda Classic? I hit probably the most offline shot I've ever hit in my life. It was on 15, hit it probably 30 yards left of the green and it hit the car path and ended up on the 13th green. Now that is the ultimate bailout there. Not, I mean, a, not a green in regulation. Uh, no. There's Sergio and his group coming down there, so there's a nice big crowd and I had to go over and take a draw. You can see these guys looking at me like, what the heck are you doing over here? That's probably got to be the most embarrassing moment. 